Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly, and this is the Talking Points Memo. The Democrats want the White House. Okay, so Bernie Sanders is in the race, officially. Uh, He joins uh, Senator Amy uh, Klobuchar, Senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Cory Booker, Senator Kamala Harris, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, ex-San Antonio Mayor Julian Castro, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard from Hawaii, former West Virginia Senator Richard Vojeda, former Representative John Delaney, Mayor Pete Betajeej, <laughs> I think he's in Texas, former Tech Executive Andrew Yang, a dozen of them, with four pending, Biden, Bloomberg, Sherrod Brown, Senator from Ohio, and Beto O'Rourke. Okay, so you got a big crew. And um, you had a big crew uh, running for Republican nomination last time. And we remember that. Now, I, I don't want to get too overconfident about this because nobody thought Barack Obama would ever get the Democratic nomination to become president. Nobody thought Donald Trump would get the Republican nomination to become president. So that's two for two. However, I, I think I can safely say that Bernie Sanders has no chance. I mean, he just doesn't. The others, out of the whole crew... I think Kamala Harris, because she's got the big money behind her, uh, will do the best of the ones that are in. But I continue to believe that Joe Biden would be the choice of the establishment Democrats. Now, um, here's what's going on. The party has moved dramatically left. We all know that. And why? Because of the Twitter mob. The Twitter mob controls Internet commerce, controls what the media does on the net. The Twitter mob, primarily crazy left-wing progressives. And on the other side, the Twitter mob is far right. These are people you hear from. You know, people hear from people who are working 50 hours a week and who are raising families. They're not on a Twitter mob. These are professional Twitter people. And if you are a moderate Democrat, they can cut your throat and attack you and slime you and smear you and do everything. So the pressure... But the Democratic Party is left, move left, 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 left. Now, most of these people that I mentioned, they're more than happy to move left. They're leftists. All right. They're, they're uh, Green New Deal people. Uh, change the country. Country's rotten. Everything's bad. Everything's corrupt. Right supremacy. Capitalism is evil. They're all that way. And Trump has got to be overjoyed. Got to be overjoyed with this crew. But I continue to say that the prevailing wisdom that you don't hear about inside the Democratic Party is we've got to get a moderate out there. Now, we'll put Kamala Harris on the second, so it'll be Biden-Harris, because we need to get those progressives off our back, and we need to downgrade the Twitter mob. And we can do that by Kamala Harris being the VP. Now, Biden going to be 80 years old by the time 2020 rolls around. So, you know, anything can happen, you're 80, you're at the end of the rainbow. So Kamala Harris is standing there if anything happens to him. Now, I do not believe that most Americans, Democrats included, want a socialist country and they don't want a Green New Deal. They may think they do, but they really don't when it comes right down to it. Change their whole lives, everything, the way you live, the way you eat, the way you see your doctor, what you drive, how you go uh, to visit Aunt Sally in Wisconsin. They don't want it. And when it becomes clear that that's what the Democratic Party wants, a Green New Deal changes everything. And that the country would collapse economically if that were ever put into place. Remember, $22 trillion debt right now. Not a double under the Green New Deal, where everybody's guaranteed a job, everybody's guaranteed a nice salary. You can't do it. Currency would collapse. Everybody lose their life savings. Depression? Hello? Now, Congresswoman uh, Ocasio-Cortez, he has no blank and clue about any of that. She doesn't know anything, with all due respect. She doesn't. These other people, they must, they might know better, but 
they're going to say what the Twitter mob wants to hear. So the campaign is underway, and uh, the Democrats have 12 in. Remember, they all have to raise money. A lot of people run around asking for money. And in the end, that's what it all comes down to, money. But you can buy TV spots. So out of all of them, Kamala Harris, senator from California, is in the best shape right now. Expect Joe Biden to get into the race. And that is the Talking Points Memo. I'm Bill O'Reilly for Newsbacks, reminding you, I do commentary every single night. And we have a lot of other great stuff on BillOReilly.com, BillOReilly.com. Also, my uh, latest book, Killing the SS, remains a bestseller after six months in the marketplace. We hope you check that out, and we will see you soon.